If we save the ugly animals, one day they may save us. Every species out there is like an ongoing evolutionary experiment. There's more biochemistry in an organism than in every lab in the entire world. Each one has come up with a brilliant array of chemicals within their cells, and these chemicals could well have a myriad of uses for us. This is already widely acknowledged by research companies who actively search out new species for the chemical treasure trove that lies within them. If we look to the chemistry of living things, we can find a whole host of medicines and treatments that could help us in the fight against disease. Over 200 different secretions of medical properties have been isolated from frog skins alone. These include a whole host of antibiotics, ones that may be able to stop the spread of resistant strains of disease like MRSA. Other proteins found in frog skins seem to inhibit the growth of cancerous tumours. Human trials using these proteins are already underway. In Queensland, Australia, scientists are trying to use spider venom to kill breast cancer cells. And the US Institute for Cancer Research claims that 70% of promising anti-cancer drugs are derived from rainforest plants. The seas are just as full of potential cures. Sponges are being harvested from the ocean floor and probed for the antibiotic-producing bacteria that live within them. A poison produced by the cone snail, Conus geographus, has become a powerful new pain relief medicine, and the chemical secretions of corals are being analysed for medical potential. The endangered Acropora coral holds the key to the development of a revolutionary sunscreen pill. Axolotls and salamanders have the incredible ability to regenerate and regrow missing limbs and other body parts. Researchers are trying to figure out how they manage it in the hope that they might be able to enable our cells to regenerate damaged body parts too. When a species dies out, it takes all those potential cures with it. And the sad part is, we don't even know what we're missing. So, what can we learn from ugly animals? Can you research the answer to the following question? What household medicines have come from animals or nature? To find out more about project work and how to get your hands in the Ugly Animal Challenge Sheet, please see the National Science and Engineering Competition website, which is in the description below.